Mark II avionics used digitally integrated microprocessors, some of the first used by the USAF, offering new capability but substantial problems. The Rockwell Autonetics Digital Bombing Navigation System included an inertial navigation system, and forward slash APQ-130 attack radar system, Doppler radar, digital computer set, and multifunction displays, MFDs. The terrain following radar was the Sperian forward slash APQ-128. The attack radar featured a Doppler beam sharpening, moving target indication, MTI, and continuous wave radar for guiding semi-active radar homing missiles. Avionics reliability improved but some issues were never fully resolved, according to Crandall. The truth is that the D model didn't work. They parked every single one of them in Fort Worth for several years as they worked to fix the bugs. The F-111D was withdrawn from service in 1991 and 1992. F-111E, edit. A simplified, interim variant ordered after the F-111D was delayed. The F-111E used the triple PLO-2 intakes, but retained the f 111 stf F-30P-3 engines and Mark I avionics. The weapon store's management system was improved and other small changes made. Crandall described the F-111E as all analog, just like the A model, but it worked. The F-111E was first ordered in 1968. Its first flight occurred on 20 August 1969 and achieved initial operational capability late that year. 94 F-111S were delivered between 1969 and 1971. Many F-111S were assigned to the 20th TFW at Upper Hayford, UK until 1991. It saw action during the Gulf War. Some F-111S received an avionics modernization program and improved TF-30P109 engines in the early 1990s. All were retired to AMIC by 1995. F-111F, edit. The F-111F was the final variant produced for tactical air command, with a modern, but less expensive, Mark IIV avionics system, more powerful TF-30P100 engine, and strengthened wing carry-through box. Crandall described it as the Cadillac of the F-111 force. The USAF approved its development in 1969. 106 F-111Fs were produced between 1970 and 1976. The F-111F could reach Mach 1.2 at sea level on full afterburner. It had the triple PLO-2 intakes along with the substantially more powerful TF-30P100 turbofan with 25,100 lbf, 112 kn, afterburning thrust, 35% more thrust than the f 111 e An adjustable engine nozzle was added to decrease drag. The P100 engine greatly improved performance. The engines were upgraded to the TF-30P109 version between 1985 and 1986. The F-111FS Mark IIB avionics suite used a simplified version of the FB-111S and forward slash APQ-144 radar. It lacked some operating modes but added a new 2.5 m, 4.0 km, display ring. Although tested with digital moving target indicator, MTI, capacity, it was not used in production sets. The Mark IIB avionics combined some Mark II components with FB111 components, such as the in-forward slash APQ146 terrain following radar. The F111ES weapon management system was also included. In the early 1980s, the F-111F began to be equipped with the AVQ-26 PAVE-TAC forward-looking infrared, flow, and laser designator system, 
which enabled the use of precision laser-guided munitions and was mounted in the internal weapons bay. The Pacer Strike Avionics update program replaced analog equipment with new digital equipment and multifunction displays. The last USAF F-111S were withdrawn from service in 1996, replaced by the McDonnell Douglas F-15E Strike Eagle. F-111K, edit. Main article, General Dynamics F-111K. The British government cancelled the back TSR-2 strike aircraft in 1965 citing the lower costs for the TFX and ordered 50 F-111K aircraft in February 1967 for the Royal Air Force. The F-111K was to be supplemented later by the Anglo-French variable geometry aircraft then under development. The F-111K was based on the f 111 with longer F-111B wings. FB-111 landing gear, Mark II navigation forward slash fire control system, and British supplied mission systems. Other changes included weapons bay modifications, addition of a centerline pylon, a retractable refueling probe, provisions for a reconnaissance pallet, and a higher gross weight with the use of FB-111 landing gear. In January, 1968, the United Kingdom terminated its F-111K order, citing higher cost, increased costs along with devaluation of the pound had raised the cost to around three million pounds each. The first two F-111KS, one strike forward slash recon F-111K and one trainer forward slash strike TF-111K, were in the final stages of assembly when the order was cancelled. All of the components that had been assembled for the production of the main F-111K fleet that shared commonality were diverted to the fb 111 program, while the two aircraft under construction were redesignated as YF-111As with the intention that they be used as test aircraft in the f 111 program. Ultimately however, the two F-111KS were never operated as test aircraft in July 1968, almost exactly a year after the first airframe began construction. The USAF decided not to take them over, and General Dynamics were ordered to use them for component recovery. fb 111 forward slash F-111G, edit. The fb 111 was a strategic bomber version of the F-111. The USAF Strategic Air Command needed an interim bomber due to the advanced manned strategic aircraft program proceeding slowly and the B-52 fleet's fatigue. The fb 111 was selected in 1965 and ordered in 1966 to replace the supersonic conveyor B-58 Hustler and early B-52S. In 1968, plans called for 263 FB-111S, but the total was reduced to 76 aircraft in 1969. The first production aircraft flew in 1968. After the UK cancelled its order for the F-111K in 1968, Components for the 48 F-111KS in production were reused on the fb 1110 Deliveries began in 1969 and ended in 1971. The fb 1110 had a redesigned aft fuselage, longer F-111B wings for greater range and load carrying ability, and a maximum speed of Mach 2. Fuel capacity was increased by 585 gallons, 2,214 L, and strengthened landing gear permitted a higher maximum takeoff weight of 119,250 pound, 54,105 kilograms. All but the first FB-111 had the triple PLO-2 intakes and the TF-30P-7 with 12,500 lbf, 56 kn, dry and 20,350 lbf, 90 kn, after burning thrust. 
The FB111 was fitted with the SAC Mark IIB avionics suite. It had an attack radar improved from the F111S radar, along with kit later used on the F111D, such as the inertial navigation system, digital computers, and multifunction displays. The suite also had custom items to support the strategic mission, such as a Star Tracker navigation system mounted forward of the cockpit, a satellite communications receiver, and an automatic stores release system that replaced the manual arrangement on other F-111 models. Armament for the strategic bombing role was the Boeing AGM-69 SRAM, short-range attack missile. Two could be carried in the internal weapons bay and four more on the inner underwing pylons. Nuclear gravity bombs were also usable. Fuel tanks were often carried on the third non-swiveling pylon of each wing. The FB-111 had a total weapon load of 35,500 pound, 16,100 kilograms. Multiple advanced FB-111 strategic bomber proposals were made in the 1970s. The first, referred to as FB-111G by General Dynamics, was a larger aircraft with more powerful engines, greater payload and range. The next was a lengthened FB-111H fitted with more powerful General Electric F-101 turbofan engines, a 12 feet 8.5 in longer fuselage and redesigned fixed intakes. The rear landing gear were moved outward so armament could be carried on the fuselage there. The FB-111H was offered as an alternative to the B-10 in 1975. The similar FB-111B forward slash C was offered in 1979 without success. The FB-111A became surplus to SAC's needs after the B-1B Lancer entered service. They were subsequently reconfigured for tactical use and redesignated F-111G. The conversions began in 1989 and ended after 34 F-111Gs were produced. After SAC's disestablishment, the FB-111As and F-111GS were transferred to the newly established Air Combat Command, ACC, and used primarily for training. The remaining FB-111As were retired in 1991 and the F-111GS were retired in 1993. Australia bought 15 F-111GS in 1993 to supplement its F-111CS. They were retired in 2007. F-111 Raven, edit. Main article, General Dynamics Grumman F-111 Raven. To replace the aging Douglas EB-66. The USAF contracted Grumman in 1972 to convert 42 existing F-111As into electronic warfare aircraft. The F-111A can be distinguished from the F-111A by the equipment bulge atop their tails. In May 1998, the USAF withdrew the final F-111As from service, placing them in storage at Aerospace Maintenance and Regeneration Center. AMIC, at Davis Munthan Air Force Base. Operators, edit. For other operators of other variants, see General Dynamics Grumman F-111B, General Dynamics F-111C, and General Dynamics Grumman F-111 Raven. Australia. 1 Royal Australian Air Force. 2 Number 82 Wing Wraith Base Amberley. 1 No. 1 Squadron F-111C, 1973 2009. 2 No. 6 Squadron F-111C, 1973 2010. F-111G, 1993 2007. United States. United States Air Force operated F-111 A forward slash D forward slash E forward slash F forward slash G, FB-111 A and F-111 A. 
officially retired its F-111S in 1996 and the F-111A in 1998. Tactical Air Command 1968-1992 Air Combat Command 1992-1998 27th Tactical Fighter Wing Cannon AFB 428th Tactical Fighter Training Squadron F-111G, 1990-1993, F-111E, 1993-1995. 481st Tactical Fighter Squadron f 111 forward slash E, 1969-1973, F-111D, 1973-1980. 522D Tactical Fighter Squadron F111 forward slash E, 1971-1972, F111D, 1973-1992, F111F, 1992-1995. 523D Tactical Fighter Squadron F111 forward slash E, 1971-1972, F-111D, 1973-1992, F-111F, 1992-1995. 524th Tactical Fighter Squadron F-111 forward slash E, 1971-1972, F-111D, 1973-1992, F-111F, 1992-1995. 366th Tactical Fighter Wing Mountain Home AFB 389th Tactical Fighter Squadron F111F 1971-1977 F1110 1977-1991 390th Tactical Fighter Squadron F111F 1971-1977, F1110, 1977-1982. 391st Tactical Fighter Squadron F111F, 1971-1977, F1110, 1977-1990. 474th Tactical Fighter Wing Nellis AFB. 428th Tactical Fighter Squadron F1110, 1968-1977. 429th Tactical Fighter Squadron F1110, 1969-1977. 430th Tactical Fighter Squadron F1110, 1969-1977. 442nd Tactical Fighter Training Squadron F1110, 1969-1977. United States Air Forces in Europe. 20th Tactical Fighter Wing IAF Upper Hayford. 55th Tactical Fighter Squadron F111E, 1971-1993. 77th Tactical Fighter Squadron F111E, 1971-1993. 79th Tactical Fighter Squadron F111E, 1971-1993. 48th Tactical Fighter Wing IAF Lake and Heath. 492D Tactical Fighter Squadron F111F, 1977-1992. 493D Tactical Fighter Squadron F111F, 1977-1992. 494th Tactical Fighter Squadron F111F, 1977-1992. 495th Tactical Fighter Squadron F111F, 1977-1991. Strategic Air Command. 340th Bombardment Group, Medium, Carswell AFB. 4007th Combat Crew Training Squadron FB 111, 1968 1971. 380th Bombardment Wing, Medium, Plattsburgh AFB. 
528th Bombardment Squadron, Medium, FB 111, 1971-1991. 529th Bombardment Squadron, Medium, FB 111, 1971-1991. 530th Combat Crew Training Squadron FB 111, 1986-1991. 4070th Combat Crew Training Squadron FB 111, 1971-1986. 509th Bombardment Wing, Medium, Peace AFB. 393D Bombardment Squadron, Medium. FB 111, 1970 715th Bombardment Squadron, Medium, FB 111, 1971-1990. 1 NASA. Aircraft on display, edit. Four other variants on display, see General Dynamics forward slash Grumman F111B. General Dynamics F-111C, and General Dynamics forward slash Grumman F-111 Raven. Australia, edit. F-111G. 108-272 Rafe Museum, Point Cook, Victoria. Russia, edit. F-1110. 67-0068 Museum of Moscow Aviation Institute, RU. Moscow, cockpit module only. United Kingdom, edit. F111E. 67-0120 American Air Museum, Imperial War Museum Duxford, Duxford, England. The last F111E from 20th Tactical Fighter Wing in the UK. It was directly transferred from USAF service at IAF Upper Hayford to the museum in late 1993, prior to the base closure in 1994. 68-0011 IAF Lakenheath, England, in front of base post office, marked as 48th TFWF 111F. F 111F. 74-0177 National Cold War Exhibition, Royal Air Force Museum Cosford, England. United States, edit. F1110. 63-9766 Air Force Flight Test Center Museum, Edwards AFB, Palmdale, California, 1st F111. 63 to 9767 Waltgen National Airport, Waltgen, Illinois. To be put on display at the Lake County Veterans Memorial at the airport. Formerly on display at Octave Charnute Aerospace Museum, former Charnute AFB, Rantall, Illinois. Although it is a monument, it is possible to take it down because the wheels are unfolded. 63 to 9771 Canon AFB, Clovis, New Mexico. It is a monument fixed to a pedestal. 63 to 9773 Shepherd AFB Air Park, Shepherd AFB, Wichita Falls, Texas. It is fixed to a pedestal and has become a monument. 63 to 9,775 United States Space and Rocket Center, Huntsville, Alabama. 63 to 9,776 Mountain Home AFB, Idaho, the only RF-1110, marked as 66-0022, it is fixed to a pedestal and has become a monument. 63 to 9778 Air Force Flight Test Center Museum, Edwards AFB, Palmdale, California, tagged forward slash aft EF 111. 66 0012 Battle Mountain Air Museum, Battle Mountain, Nevada. 66 0016 Cannon AFB, Clovis. New Mexico it is a monument fixed to a pedestal. 67-0012 Henderson Park Brigham, Texas. 
67-0046 Brownwood Regional Airport, Brownwood, Texas. 67-0047 American Air Power Museum, Long Island, New York. 67-0051 Historic Aviation Memorial Museum, Tyler Pounds Regional Airport, Tyler, Texas, marked as 67-0050. 67-0057 Dice Air Force Base Linear Air Park, Abilene, Texas. 67-0058 Carl Miller Park, Mountain Home. Idaho it is fixed to a pedestal and serves as a monument. 67-0067 National Museum of the United States Air Force, Wright-Patterson AFB, Dayton, Ohio. 67-0069 The Southern Museum of Flight, Birmingham, Alabama. 67-0100 Nellis Air Force Base, Las Vegas. Nevada, Aircraft Display Park, it is fixed to a pedestal and serves as a monument. F-111D 68-0140 Clovis, New Mexico, F-111 Vark Memorial Park, it is fixed to a pedestal and serves as a monument. F-111E 68-0009 Fort Worth Aviation Museum Fort Worth Texas. 68-0020 Hill Aerospace Museum, Hill AFB, Utah, nicknamed My Lucky Blonde. 68-0027 Commemorative Air Force, Midland, Texas. 68-0033 Pima Air and Space Museum, adjacent to Davis Month and AFB, Tucson, Arizona. 68-0039 Shaw AFB, Sumter, South Carolina. 68-0055 Museum of Aviation, Robbins AFB, Warner Robbins, Georgia, nicknamed Heartbreaker. 68-0058 Air Force Armament Museum, Eglin AFB, Valparaiso, Florida. F-111F. 72364 in the median strip of US Highway 70, in Portals, New Mexico it is fixed to a pedestal and serves as a monument. 72390 National Museum of the United States Air Force, Wright-Patterson AFB, Dayton, Ohio. 72408 Santa Fe County Municipal, Santa Fe, New Mexico. 74-0178 Aviation Heritage Park, Bowling Green, Kentucky. F-111G. 67-0159 Aerospace Museum of California, McClellan AFB, formerly, Sacramento, California, FB-111 A Development Aircraft, converted to F-111G. 68-0239 K.I. Sawyer Heritage Air Museum, formerly K.I. Sawyer AFB, Marquette, Michigan, nicknamed the Rough Knight, converted to F-111G. 68-0284 Barksdale Global Power Museum, Barksdale AFB, Bossier City, Louisiana. 68-0287 Wings Over the Rockies Air and Space Museum, Former Lowry AFB, Denver, Colorado. FB 1110. 68-0245 March Field Air Museum, March ARB, Riverside, California, nicknamed Ready Teddy. 68-0248 South Dakota Air and Space Museum, Ellsworth AFB, South Dakota, nicknamed Free For All. 68-0267 Strategic Air Command and Aerospace Museum in Ashland, Nebraska, nicknamed Black Widow. 68-0275 Kelly Field Heritage Museum, Lackland AFB forward slash Kelly Field San Antonio, Texas, painted in tactical scheme, it is fixed to a pedestal and serves as a monument. 
68-0286 Clyde Lewis Air Park, adjacent to former Plattsburgh AFB, Plattsburgh, New York, nicknamed Sack Time. It is fixed to a pedestal and serves as a monument. 69 to 6507 Castle Air Museum, former Castle AFB, Atwater, California, nicknamed Madam Queen. 69 to 6509 Whiteman AFB, Novnoster, Missouri, Gate Guard, nicknamed the Spirit of the Sea Coast. Specifications, F111F, Edit. Data from General Dynamics F111 Aardvark.